Hey guys, so I do not look my most fabulous today, uh, as I normally do. Um, to be completely honest with you, I've had a lot going on the past couple of, uh, past couple weeks. These past two weeks have been hard for me. Um, I'm going to talk to you while I fix my computer and then once I do this, I, uh, will, you know, do our normal thing and I'll set you back up. Um, I gotta install some RAM so that I can upload this on YouTube when we're done. Um, I'm gonna probably have a hard time getting through this without crying a little bit. I'm gonna try. It's, you know, that's why I'm not wearing makeup as a matter of fact. Um, now, that being said, uh, for those of you that are in my involved in my personal life and know me personally, um, you guys are all aware of what's been going on and, and uh, you know, how I'm handling it, which isn't well. I, to be honest, don't really know what to do with myself compared, uh, considering what's going on. I just lost that screw. Awesome. I'm going to have to find that. Anyway, um... So I, I haven't been doing as well as I as I wish I could be, considering the circumstances. Um, for those of you that don't know, my grandfather is very, very ill. He's uh, extremely ill. As a matter of fact, he has cancer. And um, not only does he have cancer, but he... He's had probably four, I think, different quadruple bypasses, and he's been, you know, through a lot. Um, <laughs> but that being said, uh, they diagnosed him with cancer, I think, two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. So the past past two weeks have been bad for me. Um, it's in his lungs, it's in his lymph nodes, it's making its way up, and it is devouring every inch of him that is left that is him. Um, now, a lot of you that don't know me personally are probably sitting there going, oh, well, obviously she wants a pity party. Fuck you. Fuck you. Because if you ever have a person in your life, this, this person, this person that growing up you saw was strong and was a protector and and the one person you knew would chase all the monsters away and make everything better and teach you how to drive down a dirt road and uh and put you on the back of a horse when you needed it the most and and teach you how to ride that was him for me so those of you that think that I wanted to uh, bring this to your attention because I'm an attention whore can go fuck themselves. Straight up. Go fuck yourself. I wanted to bring that to everybody's attention, mainly my friends and, you know, the few of you that are friends with me and, and, and follow me on my fan page because I feel like I've neglected my fan page the past couple of days or the past two weeks. Um, I did a photo dump the other day um, because I, I felt bad and I haven't wanted to say what was going on to anybody because I didn't feel like it was a good time. The reason that I'm bringing this up now is because he was put in the hospital yesterday. He was hospitalized, and I received a, call, a phone call at 5 o'clock, I think, in the morning from my mother, telling me that he was on his way from, um, from Safford, which is, for those of you that don't know, my hometown. Um, they flew him out. He... Um, he died, actually, uh, during that time period when he was in Safford, and they resuscitated him, and they brought him back and flew him into Tucson. So 
I spent yesterday morning panicking for an hour because I didn't know if he was going to come in alive or if, if something was going to happen. And um, so I had to bravely sit in the waiting room while, um, while he, they flew him in. He got there and it was just me for a few minutes. Um, I was waiting for my uncle to show up and my grandmother, my grandmother was flying, flying down the road trying to get here from Safford, which for those of you that don't know, is about a two and a half hour drive, two, two and a half, something like that, I don't know. So she uh, was on her way and this man who protected me and was a father-like figure to me for the longest time, was rolled in to room 18 at TMC. And uh, not only was he rolled in, but they were trying to make sure that he was stabilized. This is a man that for my entire life I got to watch from starting 21 years ago on until now. And he was the strongest man I think I've ever laid eyes on and he will continue to be, even after what happens, happens. I love him with all my heart and he knows that no matter what happens, I always will. And um, and uh, to see this man that was my rock for a long time, just like my grandmother was, and just like she'll always be, withered away in this hospital bed, looking like as white as a fucking sheet. And, um, and uh, <laughs> trying so hard to stay conscious was fucking terrifying. You know, you can, you can fight things and you can punch them and you can shoot at them and things that you can see, people, animals, whatever, but uh, this thing, you can't shoot it, you can't kill it, you can't punch it in the face. You just have to watch this invisible monster eat its way out of a person that you love and watch as that person withers away and isn't them anymore because they can't be because they're so out of it from being sick that they, they don't know. So, um, that being said, I, uh, I'll go ahead and get off that, that tangent. My grandfather is currently in the intensive care unit trying to survive and get better best he can. I don't know how things are going to go the next couple of days. So, uh, if you guys don't hear from me, then it's probably because something happened. And, uh, I want to make sure that you guys know I haven't forgotten about you and that I... I'm, uh, I'm still here and I'll still be around, but I can't guarantee that I'll be able to keep up with you like I, like I used to. So, um, I was going to try to do a photo shoot with Tyler Woida with uh, um, Hinmay Productions, um, but unfortunately I don't know if that's going to happen again uh, anymore because of what's going on. Aside from that, um, in just a second, I'm going to go ahead and get my computer booted up, get this uploaded, and I will take a few minutes to talk about happy things, and then I'm going to go about my life and go back to the hospital for a little while, go visit with my family, and hope like fuck that he makes it long enough so that, uh, you know, he can see my wedding day or something, right? So, um, 
anyway, I'm going to finish putting this together. You'll see me in just a moment. Um, sorry that I splurged on you guys. I just wanted everybody to know what's going on and that I still care about you guys. I haven't forgotten. I just am going through a lot right now. All right. Stay in the queue. Hey guys. So I'm back again. Um, to be honest, I don't, I don't really have much to talk about in this video at all. Um, I actually wanted to try to have a fun poppy video and I tried to think about things I could say, but I can't. So I apologize sincerely and I hope that you'll forgive me. But right now with everything going on that's going on, me sitting down and taking the time to make this video was hard enough. Um, that, that was a side of me that a lot of people don't get to see. But I decided to start these rants so that everybody would understand that these bitches that fucking walk up into these conventions and act like they own the place are not, <laughs> are not always themselves. They won't ever let you see them cry. They won't ever let you see them get mad. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to be fake. If you don't like what I have to say, don't watch my shit. Don't be friends with me. Do what these other people who have stabbed me in the back do and just walk away. Because right now, I have enough shit going on in my life than to have somebody throwing daggers at me. I want so badly to just defeat this thing that is making this person that I love sick. And I can't. And the only thing I have left is to be angry. And I can't be angry. I, I can't. I mean, like, <laughs> I just had to put RAM in my computer because I had to do something with my hands. It's driving me insane not having something to do. So, okay. On a happier note, um, I should be starting my armor soon because I need something to distract me. So I'm going to try to um, get that started and finished uh, here pretty quick. Um, I will post progress videos and things as I go along once we get the printer ordered and, and completed and everything. Um, I might have a special video for you guys over the next couple of days. It just depends on what happens. But for the most part, I hope everybody's had a wonderful week. And I hope that... Your families are all safe and healthy and loved, and you guys know that I'm always here for you guys if you need me. If you have an emergency, you can get a hold of me. I know I am not always the easiest to message, and I don't always reply, but if something's going on and you need something, I want to make sure that I'm there to help you. So, I would... I give out what I expect in return. So, think about that and pay it forward. Anything that you do for a person, pay it forward. I'm sorry that this was a somber toned video. Um, hopefully I'll have more exciting, less depressing news um, in the next week or so, but uh, I just want you guys to know I love all of you and I appreciate everything that you've done for me. And. Um, I'm going to go distract myself, and I'll probably be leaving to go back to the hospital in, in a few minutes. I just stopped in for a little bit because everybody was asleep, and I wanted to make sure that they had a minute to relax. So, you guys have been great, and uh, hopefully I'll have a, a couple of pictures in a couple of weeks. Um, 
but if you don't hear from me, or if it seems like I'm not posting as much as I used to, it's because I'm not doing good. I'm trying. I really am. But, um, you have to understand this man was basically my father, and I love him very much, and I just want to see him healthy. Just like anybody else wants to see their family members healthy. Uh, have a great day, and, uh, I wish you guys all the best. So, have a good day, okay?